my friends, we're going to evaluate this Gaussian function here, x times e to the negative x squared from 0 to infinity. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be short. I uh, Just note I got many modifications of this function if you want to see the integral of those as well. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a u substitution, u equals negative x squared. And we're going to do that because the derivative of the exponent is here, x dx, or close to the derivative of it. So the derivative of u with respect to x is negative 2x using the power rule. And if we rearrange this equation, we get x dx on one side equals to du over negative 2. So we'll substitute that in for x dx. But first, we've got to change the limits of integration. And x goes from 0 to infinity. That means when x is 0, u is 0. And when x is infinity, then, or as x approaches infinity, u approaches negative infinity. So we'll change that, limits of integration, and do our substitution for x dx into here. Now at this point, we can evaluate it, right? This is just the integral of e to the u. This is our friend, the integral of e to the u. du is just itself. It's just du. This is the integral. And we're going to go from 0 to negative infinity. We have a negative 1 half here because this, this is negative 1 over 2 gets pulled out of the integral. Now if we evaluate it, we're going to go from e to the negative infinity. Now, mathematicians don't like infinity here. Really, they like a, a limit as some variable goes to infinity, and then you can put the variable here. But if you're all right with it, we'll just put infinity here, minus e to the 0. Now, this is just 1, and this left term becomes 0. So if this is 1, this is negative 1, uh, becomes positive 1 half. And that's our integral right there. So the integral of x times e to the negative x squared from 0 to infinity is 1 half. Right on. Awesome possum. Good luck on your midterms, exams. Check out my other videos. Cheers.